Hey, Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're looking at Win 10 Clean. It is designed to apply some common tweaks to Windows 10, remove some apps, etc. Many people find themselves doing this. As you can see, double click it and it will start up as a portable app, meaning you can just delete it when you're done. As always, a backup or system restore is a good idea because there's always a possibility you could disable something you can no longer re-enable or reinstall. As you can see, these are some of the common things you hear about. And you just click it and it'll give you an okay message for whatever you wanna do. Mouse over, as you can see, it will give you a description. So you can click that. Now, as I told you by mousing over, you need to restart. That would disable Windows Defender. Now, the interesting thing about this app is if you disable Windows Defender, typically on a large Windows update, Windows Defender will return. This app promises to hopefully stop that. And again, you just get the OK. Disable the home group. Again, you want to mouse over on these because as you can see the message here, leave your current home group group first. This one here, remove unnecessary folders in my PC. You click that. I believe that this one tells you you got to do it twice. Yeah, run me again. So do that. And now you're back to the Windows 7 Explorer style. Disable your start menu ads. That's all the garbage you might see running in here. Install OneDrive. It's a pretty common thing here. And once again, line your mouse over. Disable the game DVR if you're not playing any of your games on here. Clean up the context menu. I wasn't too sure about this one. I really don't have too much in there, but printing and editing a notepad. So basically it's going to remove stuff it thinks is unimportant. Okay, Win 10 Metro apps. Give it a second to load up when you switch over to that tab. Now these have some weird descriptions so be a little careful in here if you don't know what it is don't play with it but common sense should apply here for example if you wanted to remove Microsoft.net you want to you don't use Twitter let's start with that we we'll come over here and look for that uninstall selected app and again it they're they're named weird so it's not just Twitter it's whatever it said you saw it Bing.news Facebook you don't use messaging you can click on that you don't use Xbox once again you can click here. You can see it's quick and easy. You can refresh the list at any time. Feedback hub, calculator, sticky notes, camera. A lot of stuff in here you can get rid of. There are apps like I will be uninstalled. It also can do this as well, but this is just what it is. Here's your console. As you can see, everything we've done is in here. So if you want to watch your log or if you want to see this is a registry item that it modified, you can see exactly what it has done for you. And of course, the simple about tab, which is all about it so that's about it as you can see this is just a quick simple way to get some tweaks look how long it took us we're uh, three minutes in the video while blabbing at the same time and we've already cleaned up quite a bit on our windows we'd need to reboot there are windows 10 privacy apps very similar to this however his big thing here was to not make a privacy app but just to make an app that does a lot of things that the privacy app does without worrying and focusing on the privacy which the whole thing is questionable anyway uh, you're on YouTube after all so you're out there and just apply the most common tweaks in a matter of minutes uh, I'd love to be able to see for somebody who has to install Windows a lot this would be nice if it had for example a batch mode where I could check it and say you know check 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 don't check and then save it and then next time I come in I could actually load my favorite presets because going through this part here the win 10 Metro apps can be a little more time consuming and if you knew something weird like that you want you, you knew you wanted to get rid of it you could save it that'd be kind of neat so it does have a delete from image and I don't I gotta be honest with you, I don't know what it is that's got me so there you go uh, unless it's something to do with your Windows 10 image I don't know I have to uh, look into that but there you go it's simple to use it's totally free it's portable it's pretty cool check it out I'll drop a link in the video below and as always, we hope you'll subscribe. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.